that is able to keep us from falling. Uh -huh. So Jesus, and we lean on you. Yes, you won't let us fall.
let's give God a praise in here. Come on, let's give him a hallelujah praise. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy New Year. times we have, we have come into the new year. Now I do know, I want y'all to understand this, this, this is a day, this is me, it's just a day. <laughs> I mean, it's just coming to a different day. Doesn't really change anything about your life. For some reason, it gives us hope that this year will be better than the last. It was a reason to be motivated. If you find yourself in a bad place in one year, you, you say to yourself, you don't want to be there. When the next year comes. But that one day is not going to change anything. Only thing I've seen this, this, this weekend uh, or, or this New Year's is maybe the mailman even got to be off. They'll catch that after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he got to be off because of, for the weekend. But listening to the different preachers, apostles, bishops, men and women of God, hearing a word coming from heaven, I noticed that things have somewhat changed when you get into the scriptures in the Bible. Prophets of old Deacon Glover didn't, didn't always have great messages. They didn't always have great messages. They didn't always preach you happy. Because there were some things that need to be held accountable. I noticed that as I heard the preaching go forth, I, I realized that, that, that nobody really wants to hear that this is going to be a bad year. Can I get another amen? amen. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that don't go across too good. It don't go across too good if you say that uh, 
there are some things that God is really saying to us. And there's some things that we need to do because he's trying to get our attention. Yeah. Really trying to get our attention. So, but I also realized that that the gospel of Jesus Christ is good news. So it, it, it's not just saying that we have to get ourselves account, be accountable, and, and get ourselves in position to where God can bless us, but it's also telling us that God has given us the ability to do that. We just need to have the heart in the mind to want to. We have to learn the voice of God and know when he's speaking to us. Praise the name of God. Praise. Now in the book of Jeremiah, y'all will stand with us real quick for the reading of the word. Book of Jeremiah, the 29th chapter, the 11th verse, and it's a very familiar scripture, so most of you already know this scripture. Um, and if you don't know it, it should become a part of your daily devotional. It's, it's something good to read and to know. Years ago, I put this scripture on, it was my, my checkbook case. You know, when I was going through some hard times, I put this scripture on my checkbook. Because I, I had plans for the checks I was writing. And I didn't plan for them to come back. <laughs> Y'all kept that after a while. <laughs> Jesus. It says, for I know the thoughts. In some of your books, it says the plans. I know the plans that I think towards you or I have for you, said the Lord. Plans of peace and not of evil. And to give you an expected end. Praise the name of God. Before you sit down, look at somebody and say, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Look at somebody else and say, stick to the plan. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of, in the book of Jeremiah, this is written, and God is saying that I know the plan. You know? He's telling the prophet to allow Israel to know that he has not forgotten about them. To let Israel know that uh, even though they are being in captivity by the Babylonians, that he still has not forgotten about them. If you follow the scriptures, you will find that the children of Israel, from Noah to Abraham, or from Abraham to Moses, or from Moses to David, from David to this time, they were going through ups and downs. There were times that life was good, and then there were times that life wasn't so good. There were times that seemed as though God had his hands on them that they had favor in their life. Praise the name of God. And for some reason that when we, we speak on favor, we, we always think that that is something good happening in our life. But how many of y'all know favor is not fair? Praise the name of God. So, so you can actually have favor on your life. 
and it not look like things are all right. Praise the name of God. Uh, uh, some might look at you like you're really going through something if they know anything about your life. And they, they would even ask the question, how can they make it through this? Uh, but but uh, just because it looks hard doesn't mean that you don't have faith. Mm -hmm. See, favor is not always faith. Praise the name of God. But God decided to allow Jeremiah to know that even in the predicament that the children were in, uh, I still have some plans. For you. Praise the name of God. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I didn't say the plans that we had. See? Because we, we make plans all the time. Praise the name. Some people plan to be here this morning. They're not here. We make plans all the time. Praise the name of God. Some things come up. That keep us from accomplishing that we went out to accomplish. Yeah. But one thing I, I love about the word of God, the Bible says that it shall accomplish. Where, wherever, wherever you send it, it shall not return void. But it's going to accomplish that which God sent it out to accomplish. Yeah. Now, now, it might not be in our time or our time span because uh, God also said, don't the vision tarry. Wait on me. Well, it's going to come, but, 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 but first you need to at least have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, then we must be in relationship with God that God might download his plan in us, that we realize that it's not about our plan, but it's about God's plan. And what, whatever God plans for us, uh, I, I need you to understand, that's really the plan that, that I want to be a part of. Because I realize that, that when God uh, plans things out, he can be plan it out from the beginning, Y'all gonna help me in there? Y'all acting kind of quiet here. Praise the name. He planned it out from beginning to end because he's the Alpha and the Omega. Praise the name of God. So, so I, now when it says that I know the plans that I have for you. All right, all right. Now I got some plans that that that, that you be uh, uh blessed. Praise the name of God. I, I I got some plans that you have peace and and, and that evil. Don't come and overtake you. As a matter of fact, I planned this thing ever since you was in your mother's womb. Oh, praise the name of God. Uh, he told Jeremiah, I knew you before you was even in your mother's womb. I, 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 really, don't, I really don't care what, what your father or your mother even want you to be. You know how people come out and say, well, what are you going to be when you grow up? <laughs> and, and we help them become whatever they say they want to be. But, but I, I am telling you, when you understand the scripture, you know, it would be nice to just uh, kneel down with your child every now and then and ask God yeah. what it is that he wants. And I need you to understand now because even when God begins to speak and you can see your child being blessed, your child might even go astray and seem as though they're not walking the path that God has shown you. But that's all right. The Bible says you need to train them up in the way that they should go. Pray in the name of God. And even if they go astray, they're coming back. I know what I'm talking about. Praise the name of God. I know what I'm talking about. You can go, you can go all across this world. Praise the name of God. If you got some prayer on you, you can't outrun it. 
you can't outrun it. You got anointing on you. And I don't mean you got to be no preacher, no pastor, no deacon, no leader in the church. You can be a regular somebody. But if you got anointing on you, you can run wherever you want to run until you end up in the belly of the way. You're still going where you got to go. Hallelujah. Jonah said, I'm not going down there talking to them. Not from Nineveh. You know who you call them to. I'm not going down there. Talk to them from Nineveh. <laughs> them folk, they, 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 they scrap them. That's what Jonah said, I'm not going. Uh -uh. But, 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 but God had a different plan. Praise the name of God. Jonah went in one direction. Hallelujah. Jumped on the boat, the goat, the Tasha, and the Bible says that, that they ran into a storm, and because he was the only one that really knew the voice of God, he knew why they was in the storm. Some storms that you are eating in your life, praying in the name of God, watch this, they ain't got nothing to do with you. Those people that was on that boat was in the storm not because of them, but because of Jonah. Some storms you go through ain't got nothing to do with you. See, see you, you gotta understand your surroundings. You gotta understand your environment. Let me tell you something. Every night and then you need to hang up the phone on that gospel. You, you need to hang up the phone on somebody that ain't got nothing good to say. Can you give me some good news sometime? You look negative all the time. Somebody blessing you mad because they blessed. What's wrong with you? Jonah said, I'm on the storm. Uh, uh, throw me over. They said, man, we got to get rid of you because you, you bringing us some problems. Let me, let me tell you something. People, people will hang around you until you got too many problems. Yeah. Oh, you, you'll, you'll find out who in your corn. Not when you're on the mountaintop, but it's when you're going through something. Baby, I don't need no friends on the mountaintop. I need some friends when I'm in the valley. Oh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Threw him over and, and hallelujah. The Bible says that, that, that God prepared a fish. Swallowed him up. After, that, that's after he got tied up in sea. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere. I got a plan for you. Yeah. Praise the name. I got a plan for you. Yeah. My plans are for you to go and tell the people. You want to go this way? Now the amazing thing about it, uh, by the time, by the time the fish spit them up on shore, on the shore, the Bible said that would have what would have took him a four-day trip. He got there in a day. Why? Because destiny, the fish was swimming in the right direction. He wanted to go this way, but even the fish was obedient. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, you understand that, 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 I mean, we are supposed to be the most intelligent beings of, on earth, and when God begins to show us certain things, praise the name of God, we still go to office. But he got a plan for you. He said, I got a plan, and all I want you to do is get to know me better. Get in my, my word. Find out what I'm saying. Don't, 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 don't go too much on what everybody else is saying. Find out what I'm saying. Because I, I, I'm going to tell you, this right here uh, covers all time. See, I mean, you got, you got other books that, that is, or have been written, and I read a lot of books. But guess, let me tell you something. A lot of books have to be revived. Now this book here might, might be translated in different translations, but it ain't got to be revived. 
from Genesis to Revelation is still speaking the truth. Praise the name. Somebody say, well, God is doing a new thing. Even the scriptures say he's doing a new thing. God ain't doing no new thing for God. It's new to us. Because God is all-knowing, omnipotent, and the omnipresent God. He's all over. So he already know. He already know where you're going to be at March the 22nd. He already know where you're going to be at in April the 3rd. He already know where you're going to be at in September. That's him. And he said, now I've got a plan for you. You want to know what my plan is? My plan is for you to have peace. Now, my plan was for you to have peace, watch this, in 2019. My plan was for you to have peace in 2020. My plan was for you to have peace in 2021. It's still my plan. Watch this. There are people that went through things during those times and watch this, still had peace. But that's God now. That's God when you can go through trouble. Hallelujah. That, that's God, or Deacon Austin, when you find yourself in the valley. But you know that there, there's a living in the valley that is brighter than a morning star. Oh, uh, praise the name of God. Uh, 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 when you find yourself in a place, praise the name of God, that, that you're looking around just like the children of Israel and say, well, how in the world can he have a plan for us uh, and we're in bondage? Uh, how can he have a plan for us and we are being uh, uh, captivated by others? Praise the name of God. How can he have a plan for us when it seems like somebody else is running our lives? How can he have a plan for us when it seems like other people are trying to tell us how to think and what to do? I need you to understand it's not going to be long from now. As a prophet sitting here, if you don't be careful, we're going to be living in a world of dictatorship. And it's coming if you don't watch yourself. You're not going to be able to make the choices that God has given you the freedom to make. I pray in the name of God. And if I can't be free, I might as well die. I pray in the name of God. Hallelujah. Need to be free to be able to do what God say I can do, huh? and whatever this word says, Hallelujah! He is not a man that he should lie, or the son of man that he should repent. Huh? When are we gonna believe what God say? Huh? Hallelujah! Huh? God says, I tell you one thing: if you want me, huh? Hallelujah! To do something in your life, huh? I need you to understand, even though you ain't kept. Activity, uh, and even though you in bondage, uh, and even though the enemy is coming up and gifts you like a flood, uh, I need you to understand that I'm the kind of God uh, that I can make all things work together for the good uh, for those who love the Lord. Uh, hallelujah! And I call according to His purpose. Uh, in other words, what looks bad, uh, the devil came to bring it to for bad. Uh, he came to bring it to bring you down. Uh, but I'm the kind of God can turn it all around. Huh? Hallelujah. What got you down? Huh? I can call it to have you up. Huh? Hallelujah. What got you sad? Huh? I can call it to have you glad. Huh? Hallelujah. Even when you're funny money. Huh? Your money funny. Huh? I'll pray in the name of God and your chain strength. Huh? Hallelujah. God huh? still huh? is on the throne huh? and he still sits high and he still looks low and he knows all about it whatever you're going through somebody say well pastor I've been hearing this for a long time hallelujah don't look like no change is coming my life because I'm going to tell you why because you've been hearing it but you ain't been believing it you've been hearing it but you ain't been putting it to work you got to wake up in the morning and call on the name of Jesus. Call on it if the rain is coming down. Call on it if the sun is shining. Call on it if it's cold outside. Call on it if it's warm outside. Stop complaining about everything. You believe it. You cannot receive it. God says it's right here. 
I've got a plan for you, and I just need you to stick to the plan. Well, what's the plan? The plan is that I created you, that you might, hallelujah, praise me. I created you, that you might praise the creator. I'm looking for the praises of my people. I'm looking for my people to open their mouth and tell me how good I am, how great I am. That's what God said. God said, I inhabit the praise of my people. And if my people can't open their mouth and praise me, I got rocks that are crying. And praise me. Hallelujah. I got flowers that will praise me. I got trees that will praise me. The grass will praise me. The birds will praise me. You don't hear me. The sun will praise me. The moon will, will praise me. Well, yes, it will. Watch what I'm going to do. I've seen it. I had to watch. And I had to see. Hallelujah. A few months ago, my bishop, our pastor, he calls us in. Some pastors uh, to have a prayer camp meeting. Hallelujah. He gave us a list of things to pray on. Uh, I'll praise the name of God. Uh, some of the things was praying for our government. Some of the things were praying for our mayors and senators. Uh, hallelujah, councilmen. Uh, some of the prayers was praying for our school system, uh, superintendent, uh, and our teachers. Uh, some of the prayers were praying for our health care. Uh, hallelujah, nurses and doctors. Uh, some of the prayers was praying for our families that we might grow in God. Some of the prayers were praying for pastors and churches. Hallelujah. But that was in October. Hallelujah. But we sit back and we got in the spirit and we begin to talk to God. And God said, Hallelujah. Some of the main that need to be revisited. Pray in the name of God and we don't have to pray for it but we got to start telling God thank you. Hallelujah. And I'm pinpointing, watch this, I'm pinpointing our school system. I'm pinpointing our teachers. Hallelujah. Our educators because every day they're eating out of these classes. Hallelujah. And COVID-19 ain't went nowhere. I pray in the name of God. But they're getting up and they're pushing themselves. They got to be around your sick children, my sick children. And they got to be well. So I need us to tell God, thank you for the teachers. Hallelujah. Thank you for the educators. Now, when we say thank you, I hope y'all do better the next time. Because now the way I'm going now is for our nurses and our doctors and for those that deal in the medical field. They got to go in that hospital that's contaminated with nothing but sickness. Everybody looking for answers. Hallelujah. Some patients nice and some patients nasty. Hallelujah. Some families know it all and ain't got near a degree. And I'm in near it. Ain't got no degree. But they trying to tell you how to take care of their family member. Don't ever tell you thank you. But I came by to tell God and to tell you don't you quit. Stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Cause God got a plan for you. God is gonna cover you. God is gonna keep you. God is gonna bless you. God is gonna hold you. Wherever you are, whatever you do, God got you. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high should abide over the shadow of the Almighty. 